Welcome to Inspiration Rising. My name is David Trotter. I'm a transformation coach dedicated to inspiring women and the men who support them to rise up in life, love, and leadership. I got a question for you today. What have you accomplished, achieved, or experienced that took you a long time to do so? I want you to just take a moment and think back over the course of your life, what have you accomplished, achieved, or experienced that took you a long time to see it come to fruition? And as you think about that thing, whatever it is that you accomplished, achieved, or experienced, what did you have to go through in order to experience it? When I think back for me about that question, uh, sports comes to mind early in life, played basketball, baseball, football as a kid, and there were multiple times where it was really challenging. And I wanted to quit. And my dad, especially, my mom would kind of pull me over. I know, baby, it's so hard. You know, she would rub my head. And my dad would be like, "Mm -mm, no, uh, we're not quitting. No. And, And he challenged me to be faithful. He challenged me to be diligent. He challenged me to have determination, to go, I know it's hard. I know the running is difficult. I know the coaches seems to be challenging and and really, uh, you know, a challenging coach. You, you probably had one of those, but we're going to be faithful. We're going to stick with it. We're going to keep going. And I'm glad he did. I'm glad he pushed me in that way because I have that tenacity inside me because I was pushed to accomplish, achieve, or experience something, and it took a long time, right? It wasn't just a one-day experience. This was a over the course, and as a kid, my goodness, just a couple months of a season when you're challenged to be faithful, it can feel really overwhelming. I think about academics. I think about um, pushing through Oh, man, I hated math. I still am not a fan of math. I'm going to tell you. And pushing through to get that B, to get that A, it took a you know long time over that semester as a, as a high school student. Or um, pushing through to get my bachelor's and my master's. Um, to experience that, it meant pushing through when I didn't want to do something, I did it anyway. Why? Because there was a deadline. Why? Because I wanted to achieve something. I wanted to accomplish something. I think about starting a church. Oh, I've helped start multiple churches. And let me tell you, that is not an easy process. There is a lot of, uh, there are a lot of challenges that come up, a lot of obstacles, a lot of hurdles. And yet, I did it, right? I did it with a team of people. I think about the movies that I've produced, the books that I've written. I think about my marriage. Oh my goodness. I quit once. I quit 12 years ago, just straight up quit. And then ended up, you know, we figured it out. It was, oh, oh my goodness, you guys. To accomplish or achieve or experience a long lasting marriage, it takes so much tenacity, so much determination, so much love, so much grace. How about raising kids? Woo boy. We got, you know, two kids, 17 and 20, as you know, and it takes so much to invest and love and care for them. Are these, are there good times in all the things that I'm talking about? Of course there are, but we all know that there are challenges and it is so easy to quit. It's easy not just to maybe even quit on the outside, but to quit on the inside. Maybe you have a marriage where you go, yeah, we're still married, but man, I quit. You know, on on the inside, it may have a semblance of marriage. It may have a semblance that you live together, but you've quit on the inside. Now, this is not a talk about marriage. I'm just bringing up how easy it is to quit things. You know, and sometimes we do need to make a transition or quit. I'm not saying you don't ever need to quit something, of course. But if you want to be successful in life, I want you to think about what that takes. Think about the people who you would deem to be successful. Whether you look to them as a wonderful mom, a wonderful a spouse or partner, a business owner, an athlete, uh, an entrepreneur, uh, anybody that you think about who is successful in life, 
Now, we see their external success. We see whatever it is that they have accomplished, achieved, or experienced. We see the 50 years of marriage. We see the kids that are grown up and they're productive members of society. We see the business that they um, have created. We see the brand that they have online. We see all that external success. But what we don't see, what we rarely get a glimpse of, is their secret superpower. All right. And this secret superpower that I believe every successful person has, however you want to define success, the one secret superpower that they all have is grit. Yes, grit. It is that tenacity. It is that passion. It is that persistence. It is that I am never going to quit. I recently came across a TED Talk by a woman named Angela Duckworth. You might have seen it. It is on grit, especially in the area of education and how uh, kids, the number one thing they need to have in order to be successful as a student is uh, not high uh, scores, not a high IQ, not a family that is supporting them. What they need more than anything else is grit. And she wrote a book called Grit, The Power of Passion and Perseverance. And she defines grit this way. You may want to write this down. She defines grit as passion and sustained persistence applied toward a long-term achievement. I'll say that again. Passion and sustained persistence applied toward a long-term achievement. All right, now, there are three elements here, and I want to break them down for you. The first is passion, that if you're going to have grit, there's got to be something that matters to you about whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish, achieve, or experience. If it doesn't matter to you, you're probably not going to stick with it. There's going to be a challenge that comes up. You're going to bail, right? But if you have passion about it, if there's something deep down inside of you that truly matters about whatever it is you're trying to accomplish, achieve, or experience, then you're going to have grit. She says, not only do you need passion, but you need sustained persistence. All right, you need sustained persistence. That is an attitude that says, I will not give up. I'm not going to give up. There are some hard days. I'll take a break. I'll take a rest. I'll have some self-care days. But I am going to sustain with great persistence my passion toward whatever it is I'm trying to accomplish, achieve, or experience. Okay? Uh, the third element is that there is an application of passion and sustained persistence. There is an application toward long-term achievement, meaning that the end result, whatever it is that I'm trying to achieve, it's not just here tomorrow. It's something that's out into the future. It's, you know, and that's obviously nebulous and subjective. It's whatever it is that's going to take you some time, some months, some years in order to achieve it. And that long-term achievement, whatever it is you're trying to accomplish, achieve, or experience, it matters so much to you. It matters so much. Yeah. And so those are the three elements that she says define grit, passion, and sustained persistence applied toward a long-term achievement. So I want to ask you right now, is there something big you want to accomplish, achieve, or experience in your life? What is it? Yeah, think for a moment. Is it in a relationship? You want to have a a great intimate marriage or partnership? Is it, it with raising your kids? Yeah, I want to be focused on that. Maybe it's starting a new business. You just feel this calling, this passion to start something that you've been thinking about. Maybe it's taking your business to the next level, taking it from uh, five figures to six figures. Yeah, maybe it's that. Maybe it's your health. Maybe right now you are wanting to dig deep and make some changes in your health. I'm telling you, I'm doing that myself right now. I'm doing it through this thing called the 75 Hard Challenge. Oh my goodness, if you just type in 75 hard, you'll see it all over the internet. It is requiring me to have grit. So whatever it is that you want to accomplish, achieve, or experience in your life, more than anything else, you're going to need grit. And grit is your secret superpower. It is a secret superpower that all successful people in life have developed. 
Now, I want to give you four ways to increase grit in your life. It's not something you're born with. It's not something that somebody can give you. It's not something that you can buy. It's something that you can develop and cultivate in your life on your own. All right, that deep, deep determination. All right, so get your pen ready. Get a pad. Come on now. Get ready to write out these four ways to increase grit in your life. Number one, are you ready? Say, I'm ready. All right, good, good. Become fascinated by what you want to accomplish, achieve, or experience. Become fascinated with it. I oftentimes talk about my friend Jackie Kenimer. She lives outside of Portland. She went through the Launch Your Life coaching program, and it changed her life. She went from being a mindset coach who loved her job but felt like there was just something missing. She wanted to create a vision for her life. She ended up developing a vision to become a flower farmer. Her husband and her now own six and a half acres, and she, as soon as she got a vision to become a flower farmer, she became intensely fascinated with a particular flower called dahlias, and she started taking a course about how to become a flower farmer. I didn't even know there was such a thing. She's taking a course on how to become a flower farmer, not only about the flowers, but the business and distribution and all. Whoa. Okay, so... For you, as you think about whatever it is that you want to accomplish, achieve, or experience in your life, what would it look like to become fascinated with it, to ask questions like, wow, what if, and how could it, and what would this look like in my life, and how could I apply it? You got to start asking questions out of curiosity and fascination about whatever it is that you want to accomplish, achieve, or experience. It's if you're help, man, you're going to start reading. You're going to start watching YouTube videos. You're going to start taking classes. If you want to take a, take your life to the next level, man, you're going to hire a coach, somebody that can get with you and not let you take down that easy path and just quit. No, no, no. They're going to help take that towel, wipe your brow, snap you in the rear and say, come on, let's keep going, right? You're going to become fascinated by whatever it is that you want to accomplish, achieve, or experience. That's number one. That's how you can increase grit in your life. Number two, number two, magnify the meaning of whatever it is that you're pursuing. God, I love this. By the way, these four things, I didn't just make these up. I've kind of modified them a little bit, but they come from Angela Duckworth's book called Grit, the Power of Passion and Perseverance. Number two, magnify the meaning of whatever it is you're pursuing. In other words, If whatever it is that you're looking to accomplish, achieve, or experience, and you're thinking, "Ah, it doesn't really matter that much. I mean, like, nobody really cares. Like, nobody cares about this. It's, like, not a big deal. Like, you're not going to have grit because there's no depth of meaning to whatever it is that you're pursuing. Let's just say that you are in the throes of raising kids right now, and you've got some challenges. Things are going great, but you also have got some behavior issues and attitude, blah, blah, blah. So you can either say, you know what? It doesn't really matter what, how I talk to my kids. It doesn't matter how much screen time they have. It doesn't matter if they really pursue their academics. No, 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 no. That's, de- that's de- what does it mean to demagnify? What's the word there? Shrinkify? I don't know. Honey, I shrunk the kids. I love that movie. Shrinkify the meaning. No, you want to magnify the meaning. And this is not to set, create pressure on yourself. This is in order for you to recognize that there is so much on the line that you cannot quit. So if you look at raising your kids, you're going, man, by me investing time in my children, loving on them, learning how to speak to them in ways that are life-giving and not you know, creating uh, opportunities for them to go to uh, therapy uh, later in life, how can I speak to them in ways, how can I speak to them in ways that are loving and caring and, right, why? Why? Because they're going to grow up to be a productive member of society. Do I want them to have a wonderful life? Do I want them to have this sense of self-love? Do I want them to have a great uh, a way of looking at their body, body image? Do I want them to have great relationships and have a great marriage and kids one day, if that's what they want? Do I want them to grow up and build a great business? Do I want them to be productive members of our world? And do you know that the way that you raise your kids ultimately is the way that they'll oftentimes raise their kids. So 
whoa, you can't quit. You can't throw in the towel on parenting. You can't just back off and say, oh, it's no big deal. No, no, no. You magnify the meaning. And by magnifying the meaning, you're increasing grit where you're saying, I'm determined. I'm sticking with this. Why? Because this matters so much. Same thing. If you're starting a business, if you don't believe that your business has great meaning in the world, throw in the towel now. No need to even start it. You got to magnify that meaning and see why, how your business is making a huge difference in the world. All right, so that's the second way to increase grit in your life. Number one, become fascinated by whatever it is you want to accomplish, achieve, or experience. Number two, magnify the meaning of what you're pursuing. Number three, expect frustrations as a necessary part of the process. Expect frustrations as a necessary part of the process. Now, this doesn't mean that I'm looking for frustrations. It's not looking for bad things to happen. I'm not looking for hurdles or challenges. No, no, no. But when when I when I feel like, oh, this is hard, or boy, I kind of didn't do that the way I wanted to, those negative feelings are a necessary part of the learning experience. When have you ever learned something and you were like, wow, I am just great at this right off the bat? I mean, I am an expert. No, things are challenging. I think about a couple years ago, uh, my daughter Waverly, I think she maybe three, four years ago, she wanted to play tennis. And so her and uh, my wife, Laura, they went out and got some you know, inexpensive rackets, got the balls, they went out to the tennis court. And she was like, I am horrible at this. This is the worst yeah, what did you expect? Yeah, you're going to be horrible. Why? Because you've never played tennis before. Of course you're horrible. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. And then, you know, we hugged it out, of course. But, you know, what's interesting is uh, that's one of the challenges, I would say, of raising kids is how do we deal with their negative feelings? How do we deal with the frustrations that they experience? Is it an opportunity to quit? Is it an opportunity to back away? Well, I'm telling you, that's the same thing for us as adults. Man, we have frustrations. If you're looking to take your health to the next level, if you're looking to start a business, if you're looking to increase the intimacy in your marriage, if you're looking to right, uh, clear out the clutter of your house, whatever it is that is the big thing that you want to pursue, you're going to have some negative feelings because you didn't get into this challenging situation overnight. It took a long time to get to this place. And so in order to overcome whatever it is that you're trying to, right, you're trying to accomplish, achieve your experience, you're going to have some negative feelings. You're going to have some frustrations. So when they come up, you go, oh, interesting, interesting. I'm kind of feeling frustrated right now. Yeah, I remember Dave said this was a necessary part of the process. Why? Because I'm not perfect in this area. Why? Because it takes time, because it takes energy, because it takes grit. Yeah, and by the way, just in the last couple of weeks, my daughter and son p- picked up those tennis rackets and they've been hitting the ball out in the middle of the cul-de-sac. They went to a, a, a tennis court and they had a great time. And there, there, there wasn't that increased uh, sensitivity to those frustrations why they were just going, hey, we're not, we're not going to be perfect at this. We're not pros. We're just having fun. We're just learning. Yeah. And what if, what if the things that you wanted to accomplish, achieve, and experience, what if you had that same attitude? Not flippant. I'm not saying that, but that to go, man, isn't this fun? I'm just learning. I'm just doing new things. I'm just expressing myself. I'm just, just taking new steps over here. What a fun process. I'm not perfect. I got some frustrations. And so that playfulness actually will create grit. Why? Because you're expecting the frustrations and you approach them even with a measure of playfulness. All right. Number one, become fascinated by what you want to accomplish, achieve, or experience. Number two, magnify uh, the meaning of what you're pursuing. Number three, expect frustrations as a necessary part of the process. Number four, oh yeah, believe you can change, grow, and learn. Believe that you can change, grow, and learn. Now, I'm not just saying believe you can accomplish, achieve, or experience whatever it is. Okay, that's important. You got to believe you can do that. But on a daily basis, when you come up against your own limiting beliefs, when you come up against your own uh, limitations of your body, when you come up against relationships that are challenged and difficult and you said the wrong thing that just made it worse, 
believing that you can change, grow, and learn will increase your tenacity and grit to not give up. In the psychology world, they talk about it being the difference between a fixed mindset and a growth mindset. Okay, a fixed mindset says nothing will ever change. I can't grow. I don't know how to move beyond this point. I will always be this way. I have all, and my spouse and partner and kids, they've always been this way and they always will be this way. That is a fixed mindset. I'm sure you know some people like that. They are stuck in the mud there and they don't believe that they can change, grow, or learn. And they don't believe that you can change, grow, or learn. And they don't believe that people around them can change, grow, and learn. It's a fixed mindset. A growth mindset says, you know what? Boy, that was a challenging situation, but we're all changing, growing, and learning, aren't we? Yeah. And you know what? I have the capacity to change, grow, and learn in so many different ways. I'm just changing, growing, and learning all day, every day. And I'm open to that. I believe that about myself. And so when I come up against a limiting belief, a lie that I believe about myself, others, or the divine, if I uh, take a misstep, if I uh, make a mistake in some way, that's okay. I'm, I'm bummed about it, but I believe that I can change, grow, and learn. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you believe that about yourself, you're actually increasing the level of grit in your life. Otherwise, if you didn't think you could change, grow, or learn, phew, toss in the towel now, forget about it. Like there's no need to even go after whatever it is you want to accomplish, achieve, or experience. Yeah, there's no reason. Yeah. So just as a reminder, the four ways to increase grit in your life. Number one, become fascinated by what you can accomplish, achieve, or experience. Number two, expect frustrations as a necessary part of the process. Number three, magnify the meaning of what you're pursuing. And number four, believe you can change, grow, and learn. You want to have a fixed, not a fixed mindset. Holy cow, I almost took us off track there. You don't want a fixed mindset. You want a growth mindset. Now, here's the deal. You have something you want to achieve in life, don't you? You have something you want to accomplish, achieve, or experience. It could be in your, like I said, in your relationships. It could be in your health. It could be in your business. I love how, uh, you know, my tagline is that I am dedicated to inspiring women and the men who support them to rise up in life, love, and leadership. Those are the three categories that I see so much of life, right? You've got challenges in your life. What is it? What's challenging you right now? What's holding you back from accomplishing, uh, achieving, or experiencing what you want? Or in your love, what is going uh, sideways in your marriage, in your relationships, right? How are you having challenges there? Or in leadership, maybe you want to start that business. You want to become an entrepreneur. You want to take your uh, career to the next level, okay? I'm telling you that these four Things, these four ways to increase grit in your life will help you. They will help you absolutely. Re- rewind, right? Oh, there's no such thing. Listen to this podcast again. That's what I mean by rewind. And ask yourself do I have grit? What does it look like for me to increase the level of grit in my life so that I can accomplish, achieve, and experience what I truly want? If you are ready, to get unstuck, take your life to the next level, develop a serious vision for your life, for your love, or for your leadership, for starting that business, being an entrepreneur, whatever it might be, I want to invite you to reach out to me. Set up a time for a clarity call. It's a free 20-minute call where you and I would just sit and chat either over Zoom or the phone. I want to hear where you're challenged, and I would love to be able to give you a little bit of insight that might be able to help you take that next step. And if it's a good fit, I'd love to talk to you about the uh, Launch Your Life coaching program, how I can help you take your life to the next level, all right? Also, if you're looking for daily encouragement, I send it out almost every day. I've created something that I call Inspo Text. Yes, I think it's kind of a cheesy name, but the people on the Inspiration Rising Insiders, my awesome tribe of women and a few guys there said Inspo Text was a good name. Inspo Text is the way that I'm sending out text messages to you every day or so with an encouraging quote, a thought, maybe an online resource, a question that I have for you. All you have to do to join Inspo Text, it's absolutely free, by the way, and you can unsubscribe at any time, 
is text me. You can text me whatever you want. You can say, hey, Dave, what's up? 949-401-6090. This will be in the show notes, but text me at 949-401-6090. And you can just say, hey, Dave, what's up? You'll get an automated text back. You'll click a link that allow me to have you as one of my contacts. And I send out text every day or so with encouraging, inspiring, and motivating thoughts. And I would love for you to receive that. All right. If, if you want to reach out to me about the coaching program, I didn't even give you a way to do that. The URL is insporising.com slash call. That's insporising.com slash call to set up a free 20-minute clarity call. I'd love to be able to get uh, clear on what's going on in your life and how I might be able to help you. All right. Love you guys. Woo! Yes. Hey, by the way, if you didn't know, this whole content on grit came from my Facebook, Instagram lives that I'm doing every Tuesday and Thursday. So this exact same content I presented via video on Facebook and Instagram live Tuesday and Thursday at four o'clock Pacific time, seven o'clock Eastern. So uh, I just thought, well, man, I don't want my podcast listeners. If they didn't listen to the Facebook and Instagram live, I didn't want them to miss out on this content. So every week I'm doing a two part teaching session, one on Tuesday, four o'clock Pacific time, one on Thursday, four o'clock Pacific time, both on Instagram and Facebook live. The Facebook Live is inside of our Inspiration Rising Insiders private Facebook group, which you can sign up for at insporising.com slash insiders. All right, and that'll be in the show notes. All right, so much information. My goodness, blah, blah, blah. Love you guys. I know that you have grit and I know that you can increase grit. Make sure that you write down, check out these four ways because if you focus on those, you're going to increase your level of determination and passion in your life. All right. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.